So hi, today we unlock the SM LT300 device. We start by opening our tool, then click on install drivers to install drivers. So we need to get these drivers installed so as our device is able to be detected. Then after doing that, we can always get back to our tool. We connect it to we connect our device using a USB so we can click get IP. So if the IP is not detected, that means the device is not being read. So what do we do? Yet we've connected the device. So basically this is a good case scenario. We shall first go to our CMD and type IP config to check if the device will be shown. No. So we shall discover that it's not being seen. So we cancel. Then uh, what we shall do is basically very simple. We first try installing this software, the device software, and see whether it will bring the device. Then just click next, next. This is really irrelevant in case the device uh, displays the IP address automatically. The device is not being read. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi because the device is showing. So we're going to connect to the device via Wi-Fi. So you'll select the device and connect on its Wi-Fi. So after connecting on its Wi-Fi, you open the tool. Then we open. Inside this tool, you'll find uh, open ports by Mahad. Then we shall open the open ports by Mahad. Then inside here, we shall select option one to open the ports. That's after connecting to our Wi-Fi or after connecting. You have to do this because we need to open ports and check. So select option one to open ports. So since we've connected to our Wi-Fi, we need to get the IP address. That's IP config. When you press enter, you'll get 192.168.10.1. That's the IP address, the default gateway. So we come and press option one. Then we type 192.168.10.1. Then press enter. So when you press enter, you're going to discover that now our device is not being detected. But now when you press enter, since we had already installed our drivers, make sure that you install drivers. When you press enter, one we take one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot one. When you press enter, you will discover that something strange is going to happen. Uh, the device is going to automatically install. Yeah, it's going to open the ports. So our ports are now open. When you check here, you can see that the ports are now open. So what we shall do is remove the USB cable and put it back in. So when we put it back in, we shall discover that our device is now connected. Our software can check. We just click on unlock DA on normal scenarios. You click unlock DA. Most of the uh, SMLT300, you use unlock da smlt 200 you'll use unlock db so in case it brings this error uh you'll just click on the tool that i've uploaded there is an option called unlock dc let me open the tool that i've uploaded that's the updated version the updated version has the unlock Uh, let's check. Let's first wait for it to load. The new tool that I've uploaded has unlock DC. Yeah, so this is the new tool. Uh, you just click on unlock DC. So when you click unlock DC, automatically it will send the files to the device, and the device will be able to. The device will be able to unlock. So when the device unlocks, when the files are sent. 
we first check whether the device has been unlocked by going to our 192.168.10.1 then we type the device password it's always uh, behind your cover you just type it in so after you open behind your cover type in the device then after typing in the device password you press login so when you log in uh, it's still showing sim locked so what we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced then select others then we reset our device to factory select yes so after that we wait for our device to reboot so this is our device powering on again so it's connecting so it has been unlocked to 4g so let's check via our dashboard remove that 192.168.10.1 it's still showing smile but it has been unlocked so when we put our password our device password and login put our device password and login sorry that was the wrong password let's put our device password and login when we log in we shall discover that we are connected and our device is ready to use thank you very much uh, this time uh, our tool is for sale and we shall be buying the tool on the website it's very very cheap it's only four dollars uh, that's around fifteen thousand ugandan shillings uh, it you can buy it from anywhere you can buy it from anywhere you will find the download link in the video description that's where you can get our tool uh, you just pay for dollars this money is going to be used to buy more tools so that we to buy more devices so that we keep on testing and keep on unlocking all these devices it's not that we wanted to sell it but we just wanted to get more devices you guys keep on asking for each and every device some of the devices we do not have but we shall use this money to buy more devices and unlock all of them thank you very much a nice time